Toa maelezo zaidi kuhusu ombi lake linalohusu madai ya kuenea kwa mahusiano ya LGBTQ nchini. Mbunge huyo ambaye hapo awali ameongeza alimeongoza maandamano dhidi ya LGBTQ katika ukanda wa Pwani alitaja wasiwasi kuhusiana na mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali yenye nia fiche ya kulazimisha mahusiano ya jinsi ya moja kwa Kenya yalikuwa yakifadhili kwa siri harakati hizo nchini kwa kisingizio cha huduma za kijamii wakati huo akionya kwamba utamaduni huo iwapo utaruhusiwa kuenea kuenea ungetishia si mtu si tu mstakabali wa kitamaduni wa nchi bali pia kizazi cha vijana na taasisi za ndoa that anybody who does such an act should be killed i quoted the bible the quran says the same thing anybody that does that thing should be disciplined so because I mentioned the issue of God saying that anybody who does that thing should be killed, they said that I am, you know, my, my statement contributed to their lives being in risk, that people now are targeting them, they want to kill them because they are LGBTQs. We gave an example of Uganda, <clears throat> where the president came out openly and even said to the donors, we don't want your money. If your money is all about destroying our community, our society, we don't want your money. These things are pushed by various NGOs who are hiding, pretending that they are, they are helping or they are trying to listen to these issues to see the way they can help. There are those that are out there that are doing these things.